everybody, it's me Sandy and I'm back with another nail art video. This time it's a fun Easter smush marble mani. Wow, say that one five times fast. But before we get started, I'd just like to ask you all a huge favor if you could go down and hit that like button, as well as subscribe and hit the post notification bell so you can find out when I upload a new video. Thanks! Now let's get started. I'm of course starting off with my favorite base coat, which is Anchor by Zoya. I do still have the gel nail extensions I did on myself on, but uh, not for long. Right after uh, this manicure for the next one, I did take the gel nail extensions off, and I am growing out my natural nails again. Uh, it's going to be a process. Okay, now that those are dry, I'm going to get started with painting on the color. The first one will be Highlight of My Summer, and then also Bar Hopping and white on white all from china glaze and of course all the products will be listed in the description box i am going to start off with painting the two feature nail colors which is my index finger with the highlight of my summer and sorry about the off cameraness there i really wasn't paying attention that day um, and then my index finger will get the bar hopping the rest of my nails will be painted with the white on white so that the smush marble shows up really, really well. And I am doing two coats uh, on each nail, so I will be back once that is done. So now that the two coats are dry, I am going to put on a coat of Sesh Vite. I was only going to do it on the two nails, the green and the pink one, that were going to get the um, nail vinyls, but I got sidetracked and just out of habit did them all with some Sesh Vite, so it's just sealed in really nice. You do need to put on a fast dry top coat before using nail vinyls so that you don't pull up your base polish. So I have two sheets of nail vinyls here. The darker blue ones are from What's Up Nails and the lighter ones are from Twinkle Tea. There are two different uh, types of designs on each of them and the ones from What's Up Nails are different sizes. So I decided why not use both? So I'm going to use the Sitting Bunny, that's the sideways one from What's Up Nails on my ring finger. And I'm just pressing that down with my silicone tool I do sometimes just press it down with my finger and then once that is pressed down I'm going to paint over it with the china glaze white on white. Once I've got that painted on there I'm going to carefully pull the nail vinyl up right away so that the polish does not have a chance to dry the nail vinyl onto my finger. You definitely don't want that. And then the other bunny from the Twinkle Teen nail vinyl stencil sheet, whichever you want to call it, will go on my index finger. So now I'm just taking my black stamping polish, putting a little bit of it on my silicone mat, and then taking a fine nail art brush, and I'm just going to give my bunnies some eyes. 
So now to protect my cuticles, I'm going to use my OPI Glitter Off, which I know is a peel-off base coat, but I'm going to use it like it's liquid latex. I can't use liquid latex because I'm allergic to latex, but a couple coats of this or put on nice and thickly works really, really well and is a less expensive alternative to the cuticle tape, which can get a bit pricey and is a little awkward to use. I'm, I'm just going to give this a shot because I am going to be doing a smoosh marble and some stamping and I want to keep those cuticles as clean as possible. So now that the clean cuticle is dry, I'm just going to put some polish down on my silicone mat. Just randomly, I'm using Peachy Keen Highlight of My Summer and Bar Hopping from China Glaze as well as Sublime from Spa Ritual. And this just is random. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I'm just putting polish where I think polish should go to mix the colors up really prettily. Prettily? Nicely. Eh, you get the idea. So now that all my polish drops are down and I'm happy with how much I've got down there, now the smush part of smush marble comes in. So I just pressed it into the, the puddles of polish and now I'm just going to place it on my thumbnail. Maybe I should use that for my thumbnail. Anyway, sorry you couldn't see that, but as you can see, I just transfer the polish from the top of the stamper to my nail. So easy. So now I'm just going to clean off my stamper and my mat and repeat that process for my other two nails. And luckily I was able to get the other two nails done with one smush because they weren't as wide as my thumb and that way I had less wasted polish. But as you can see this is really easy and very random and every stamp turns out just a little different. So now that the smush marbling is dry, I've got my stamping plate from What's Up Nails, the B17, B017 Spring Elation, and I'm just going to lay down some of my black stamping polish from Clear Jelly Stamper, and I'm just going to scrape that, just kind of a, well, more than a light scrape, it wasn't going across, guess I need to use more, usually I use too much. Then I'm just going to roll my stamper on there, and it's the same stamper I used for the smush marble, and then just press that down onto my nail. Now I didn't pull up the glitter off before I did this and I probably should have because I had a little bit of trouble pulling it off now. And I am using three uh, different designs on here. There were three Easter ones and I couldn't decide so I decided to use a different one on each of the three nails.
So now that all my designs are dry, I'm going to put on a coat of Clear Jelly Stamper's Smear Knot water-based top coat. It does not ruin your stamp design. Obviously, it's made by a stamping company. I really love this stuff. And what I failed to videotape for you was that I did put a coat of Sesh Feet over top of all my nails after everything, the Smear Knot and all my other designs were dry just to seal it all in. So I'm really pleased with how this design turned out. The only thing I think I may have changed is using white stamping polish instead of the black to show off those great designs on this wonderful stamping plate. But other than that, I think my first attempt at Smush Marble was a big success. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, if you could please go down and hit that like button, as well as subscribe and hit the post notification bell so you can find out when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.